Hey guys, it's your girl Majesty Dane here and welcome back to another video. So today uh, I'm going to be talking about waist trainers. Do they work? Um, how do they feel? The kind of do's and don'ts. Um, that I feel is really important to being able to get the results that you want. So, um, I'm going to show you three. I have three um, here and I'll show you the three that I wear or that I used to wear anyway. Okay, so let's see. So, the first one is this like purple one. And it doesn't have any of the steel bones in it. I did, I do have two corsets that have steel bones in it. But those are just a nightmare and I don't, they just cut into your side and after a while you're just not feeling, you're not feeling well at all. So, um, but these don't have, these don't have the steel bones in it, but they still do work. They have the double um, hook and eye in them and I really like these. This one is a large and you can order these online from Amazon to finding them like at a flea market which is where I got this one from uh, the purple one and I started out in this one uh, and I've had this one for a long time and I keep it because I don't know maybe I might let myself go I say and decide okay I want to get back into it so <laughs> I'll just start it but that's why I keep this one and this one's the smaller one it probably looks the same, but it is, it's a lot smaller here. So it doesn't need to focus so much like on the top. And it has the uh, double row of hook and eye as well. So I, I like these. I, I like these because they're flexible. You can sleep in them. Um, you can work out in them. I usually, if I'm going to work out, which usually consists of like, Maybe I might run a half a mile. I'm not really a runner, but maybe I might run half a mile and then I'll walk the rest. So I might walk like two miles in within my subdivision. And you can just put this on. So what I do first is I get some of this uh, aloe. and I, It's just Equate. I got it from Walmart. And I rub it like in my midsection area. And I don't know, it, it tightens the skin. It kind of holds the skin for me. And then I put this on. And me and my grandbaby, we're out walking the neighborhood, or you can put these on when you're like in your home, cleaning, or just doing nothing at all. You know, it, it really trains your, your core to like stay tight and, you know, hold it in. Also, another thing, this is a sidebar. If you like waist beads, I love waist beads. They're beautiful, but they also, when you don't have your um, waist trainer on, it, it's just like a reminder for you to, you know, have good posture and also keep your midsection in. So it just, it just helps you. Um, and like I said, I don't know if I said it before, these you can sleep in. I don't sleep in these. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just not comfortable. So I, I don't sleep in them. This one I sleep in. So this one is just like you can just roll it. It has no steel bones in it at all, but it really, really makes you sweat. Woo! You will be wet by the time you finish wearing this. Um, and I put this on at night when I go to sleep. Again, I use the same aloe to like rub on my on my stomach, on my sides, and on my back, like up to like where my bra is. And put this on, and I'm gonna put these on for you, for you guys so y'all can see them, or at least understand the concept. I'm sure, you know, it's elementary on how you put these on. But maybe I won't put these on because you, you kind of can figure this one out. But this one definitely I'll put on. And I go to sleep in it. One thing I will um, stress that if you are new to wearing waist trainers, please do not get out the gate wearing it eight hours a day, 12 hours a day. You need to really build up to wearing it that long. When I first got it, I wanted instant results. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture. It's probably like in my old phone, but there's a picture that I have so you guys can see what my stomach used to look like. I was not having it. I, I was in a bad place uh, during that time in my life and I was just like, whatever. So 
you know, I had to get myself together and rethink things. You know, what do I want to look like? And I, I didn't, I didn't want my stomach to look like that anymore. So I'm going to see if I can find that picture. Um, in that picture, my kids were a lot younger. And if I, if I do, if I'm able to find it, I'm going to post it over here or over here or somewhere just so that you guys can see what I came from because my stomach didn't look like this. Uh, and I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo because it was a motivator. I wanted to be able to show it off in the summertime. So I got my, my stomach tattooed so that it would further motivate me to, you know, stay slim and trim in that area. So, oh, back to what I was saying about the length of time to wear it. When you first start off, I think that it's best if you wear it for about two hours. Wear it for two hours kind of, I don't know, gauge how you're feeling. You know, is this too tight for me? You know, you may need to size up or you may need to size down if it's too light. But build yourself up over time. So for the first week, you might wear it two hours every day. Don't sleep in it. Don't sleep in it right away. Get your body used to it because all of your organs, everything, all of that's gonna shift because everything is just slimming down. So. I say that and build yourself up over time. Now, right now for me, I put mine on at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning because I get up, do some yoga and just kind of, you know, get my mind right. So I put it on before I go to work and then I may wear it until maybe 7.30, 8 before I take my shower, before I'm going to bed. So I would pretty much wear mine all day. Um, on the weekends, I pretty much do the same. The results are so worth it, you guys. Like it's it's so worth it's so worth it. You feel so good about yourself, you know, when you get out there and you got your little cute whatever midriff or sheer or whatever it is. It's it's really worth it. So for this one, let's see. Move over a little bit. Okay, so for this one, you can wear it over, like if you have a white beater or a t-shirt or something like that on, you can wear it over there. I was just trying to like pull my pants down a little bit, but you can wear it over that. Or you can wear it next to your skin, it's fine. Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. So usually like if you're like me, you got like a little pouch my, my stomach isn't the best right now because I've already eaten, so I don't know if it's gonna show well. But anyway, um, you might have like a little pouch like I have, like down here, down the bottom. Let's pull this up. So if you do, if you do have that, then what you will want to do is make sure that when you put this on, you're gonna wrap it right down around that area right here. So you're gonna wrap it down around that. I'm gonna pull my shirt up a little bit. Because you want that area to be able to sweat too. So like if you've had a cesarean section or something like that, or you've had any type of surgery there, you might have like that little like lip right there. So what I do is I wrap it down around that area and then just bring it across and just put it on. Okay, so ugh, sorry about that. Okay, so now so now it's on in that way. Okay, and then you have two elastic bands here, and you can cross them. I usually will stretch it out, it depends on how much you want to cross it. So I'll usually do this. So, of course, you're gonna have like the puffy part of your stomach at the top. Don't worry, by the time you finish exercising and sweating, it'll all uh, go away. So anyway, you want to put that on. If I'm going to sleep in it, then I'll usually have it like right here because I'm really not trying to train my waist. I'm more so trying to trim the fat that's in my stomach area. I want to sweat it away. So I'm usually wearing it like this, but if, you know, with just like a little bit of tension. It's really, it's really none at all. But if I'm really trying to train my waist to 
have kind of that curve there going on, then I'm going to pull it tighter as you can this. Now, if you don't have that problem at the bottom, but maybe your problem's up the top, then you're just going to reverse it. You're just going to wear it up higher. If that's the area that you want to work on, um, you'll just wear it up, up a little higher and it's going to sweat this. Or you can alternate. So you can wear it up high, you know, for one week and then down lower for the next week. So then for this one right here, um, you're just going to do the same hook and eye. Now you can, I usually advise people to start off in the first row. So you can start off in the first and you're just going to hook it all the way. If you got nails on like me, <clears throat> but you can still breathe in it. You can still move around, uh, all of those types of things. So you don't really have to worry about, and these are like gradual, they're like gradual. So when you, when you put it on, it's going to feel snug at first. Okay. And you can, you know, you can go to the side and everything because it doesn't have the steel bones or anything in here. So these are gradual. You're going to put them on and I would say stay in this first hook and eye, stay there until you really feel comfortable you know once you feel comfortable and it's not difficult for you to breathe or you know anything like that then i say move over into the second row there are some that have three rows of hook and eye so you can instead of buying two waist trainers two different sizes like i did you can just kind of stay in so this one this one has the two rows um, of hook and eye like i explained earlier I usually advise people to start off in the first row. You should be able to stick your hand down in the sides, no problem. If you're not able to do that, then it's probably too small. Usually, if you go into a store, they will size this for you. Um, they'll put it on you and kind of size it for you. But if you're buying it online, you may want to take your waist measurements first to make sure that it's going to fit your waist. You want it to be snug, but you don't want to be, you know, feeling like Houdini where, where you got to escape out of this thing. But again, keep in mind, first timers, you're only going to wear it just for a few hours. You're not going to wear a lot. You're going to build yourself up to that point. So I, I think that this works. I've seen a lot of results in it. Um, like I said, walking, you don't really have to do a lot of exercise because you're going to sweat in this. Okay. You're going to sweat in it regardless. I do not advise you again. I do not advise you to go to sleep in this, but if you want to have something on that you can sweat in while you're asleep, I'd advise you to get something like this. And again, you can buy these online or um, you can buy them at like any type of store that sells like fitness stuff you can buy them from there too i got these from uh patapsco flea market here in baltimore and those those are really nice they've done me well i've been waist training for five years now and i don't know i absolutely love it i love the results i i love the curve that it gives me uh on the side now i think probably if i had to do Let's see. So, probably if I had to do cons on this, it would probably be the indigestion. <laughs> like, because all the gases and everything are going to be moving around in your stomach. So, I would say you're going to have a lot of indigestion. So, you're going to have a lot of, like, burping and all that kind of stuff. If you find that you are if you if you start sleeping in it and you find that when you wake up in the morning your side is hurting like it's just really really pain in you i would say stop discontinue it don't discontinue waist training but discontinue sleeping in it at night because obviously the way you're sleeping it's it's just ruining like the tissue and stuff in your back and you don't need all that speaking of bags 
I had another kind, but I don't use that kind anymore. It is a strap. It, it looks like a vest and it goes up over and it folds, you know, around your booby area and it snap. I mean, and it, um, it, uh, closes up that way. So I had one of those and I had that because I had a lot of like the back fat, you know, like right by your bra line. And I was like, oh Jesus, that's attractive. So I wanted to fix that too. I just wanted to really slim down my back as much as I could. So I had that one. I don't use that one anymore because I, I don't need it. So I don't even have that one to show you, but I think I do have a picture. I do have a picture of it. So I'll even link it over here or over here. But I do have a picture of it um, when I was wearing it. But that really, really controls all of that. And it sweats all of that out. And before you know it, you'll be like, oh, okay. My bra sizing went down. Okay. So I think that's about everything that I can think of um, about waist training. I can't really think of anything else. You don't have to use um, the aloe. You don't have to. You can just put it on and just sweat it out. Uh, these are machine washable. That's what I wanted to say because you're going to be sweating in them. So they are machine washable. And depending on how much you use them during the course of the week, you'll know um, that you need to, you know, throw them in a the washer. And for the one that I have on, I'll usually throw it in the washer and then I'll I'll take it out and I'll let it air dry. The other one that I have, the black one, I'll throw it in the washing machine and then after I'll just throw it in the dryer and I'm ready to go again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about waist trainers or anything like that, please link it down below. I am really, really good about responding and replying to any questions and any comments. So thank you guys for watching.